वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो दिस इज कोड फॉर दिस राउंड नाइन सिक्सटीन डी थ्री वी विल सॉल्व द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम आई नो इट्स सिंपल बट लेट्स ट्राई टू सॉल्व इट प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग लॉग सो वी हैव आर फ्रेंड मोनोकार पियर एंड ही इज पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन अ प्रोग्रामिंग कॉन्टेस्ट इन दिस कॉन्टेस्ट देर आर लाइक ट्वेंटी सिक्स प्रॉब्लम्स ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स आर नेम्ड विद द एल्फाबेट्स ए टू जेड कैपिटल लेटर्स देन द प्रॉब्लम्स आर सॉर्टेड बाई डिफिकल्टी मोर ओवर इट्स नोन दैट मोनोकार कैन सॉल्व द ए प्रॉब्लम इन वन मिनट B problem in two minute. Based on the position of the alphabetic sequence, he can solve in those number of minutes. So after the contest, uh, we discovered the contest log, and it is containing only the A to Z alphabets. And each letter here on the position tells us on that minute what is the problem that he solved. So if I tell like third minute, he solved the C problem. Sixteenth minute, he solved the A problem like that. Monaka was solving during the eighth minute of contest. If Monocarp had spent enough time in total on a problem to solve it, he solved it. Okay, so like, uh, if he solves the B problem, uh, if B occurs four times, then it very evident that B needs only two minutes to solve, but he already solved it. So it may happen that he might be thinking about the problem. That's why B occurred many times. We got the contest log. Calculate the number of problems he solved during the contest. So how do we break down programmatically? Is uh, whenever an uh, as uh, english character comes alphabetical character comes i take that and see the position in the alphabetic sequence and uh, check the count in the array so if c is occurring three times in the array and c's position is 3 then the answer is valid so c can occur four times also five times also doesn't matter but at least c should have occurred third time three times then if it matches with the corresponding sequence in the alphabet sequence then it's a valid so here you see a to solve a only 1 minute is needed so a is added 1 c there are three c's in many different minutes so c is also solved b occurs two times so b is also solved in this case c a is solved 1 minute then this much time he is just thinking about a And F means F should occur six times. F F F F somewhere like that because six is the position. Six is not there. P is more and C is also C should occur at least three times. It is not there. So how do we code it? And uh, so what did I do is I took an array. Array is having like zeroth index to twenty seventh index. Whenever a string comes, I am subtracting it with character. A. Why am I doing that? Is suppose if this is the ASCII value of A, if B comes. B minus A. What is the difference between them? It is two, right? Sorry, it is uh, one, right? A minus A. It is zero. So you actually get the corresponding index if you kind of uh, do like this. So I can map these index here. So whenever uh, B comes, I can simply go ahead with one and increment the value of B. So B occurs one time, B occurs two time, B occurs three time, like that. So that's what array of S of A does. Now, if array of s of i is count, if this count is equal to equal to s of i minus a plus one, that means what? Suppose let's take b is uh, uh, here minus a plus one. That means b minus a is how much? Uh, one plus one, two. So if b occurs two times in the array on the corresponding index, I can just say that I can increment the count. So in c case, what happens? C will be at position two because C minus A is two. I just keep incrementing one, two. If when three comes, we compare it with three. Three equal to equal to C minus A plus one. That is two plus one. That is three. Then I am incrementing the count. That is Monakar has solved the problem in the contest. That's all, guys. So uh, this is the problem solution. So if you have any doubts, please let me know in the comments. And if you like the video also, please let me know. uh that's it guys see you in the next video on another problem thank you